Hi, everyone. Hello again. We're on page 64 of the Finnish Mystery, in the middle of the section where they're talking about the chronology from 1914 to 1921. And they want to make Noah's flood and the parallels from the first century somehow fit what they're going through in the 1914 to 1917 period. And it's all leading to uh, an emphasis upon something drastic that's going to happen in the spring of 1918. And the good part for them is they expect to go to heaven while, while the, the world is falling apart in spring of 1918, Christendom is falling. They are going to be in heaven. Mm. So they have said in the previous sentence, the seven days before the deluge may represent seven years from 1914 to 1921 in the midst of which week of years the last members of the messiah notice this members of the messiah pass beyond the veil mm. meaning that the anointed ones and they're going to appear in the next section break this group of people going to heaven into two groups the anointed ones those that are members of the messiah are part going, of the are going to going to heaven they are paying part of the ransom sacrifice mm -hmm. and then there's a great company that are mentioned in the very next sentence what about this great company in those days they did not think it was an earthly class the great company class shall be cut class shall be cut off at its end the fact that we see the first half of this week is so distinctly marked would lead us to expect three and one half years more of witnessing by the great company class. In other words, beyond 1918, spring of 1918, this second heavenly class are going to preach, keep preaching till mm. 1921. I like the way it said, we see the first half of this week so distinctly marked. <laughs> yeah, really? Right. Mm -hmm. It seems to be the heavenly father's way to accomplish his work by weeks and half weeks from the very beginning of creation until now. And now you're going to have to do <laughs> some serious listing here or get a copy of this book because yeah, this next mud. paragraph is, <laughs> is a tangle of dates. Yeah. Most of which have now been abandoned, by the way. They have clung to some of them, just a few, the ones that do not jeopardize their, their uh, heavenly identity, I suppose, or their divine identity is a better way to think of it since they are part of the ransom sacrifice. It says, the covenant with Abraham, 2045 BC, was halfway, that is 2081 years each way, between the fall of Adam, 4127 BC, and the conversion of Cornelius, AD 36. Now all those dates have been abandoned except the conversion of Cornelius. This, the last observance of a typical jubilee by Israel, 626 B.C., was halfway, that is 2,500 years each way, from the end of Adam's day in 3127 B.C. and the beginning of the times of restitution, A.D. 1874. All of those dates have been now abandoned. The captivity... Uh, 606 BC, notice it's not 607 here, 606 BC marks the beginning of the times of the Gentiles, halfway, that is 2,520 years each way, between the end of Adam's 1,000 year day, 3127 BC, and the end of Gentile times, AD 1914. The only date left standing is 1914, right? Mm. The captivity, 606 BC, marks a point halfway, that is 3,520 years each way between the fall of man, 4127 BC, and his full restoration of divine favor in AD 2914. Christ's death, AD 33, marks a point halfway, that is 1,845 years each way between the death of Jacob, 1813, is that 1813? Yeah. 1813 BC and the restoration of favor to Israel in 1878. Well, the death date is still the same in their chronology, but everything else here is gone. What's this? Did you even know that they said the restoration of favor to Israel occurred in 1878? Mm. The death of Christ, A.D. 33, was halfway, three and one half years each way between his baptism, A.D. 29, and the conversion of Cornelius, A.D. 36. Now, as far as I know, all those dates, they still hold. Mm. But, of course, they don't jeopardize their status as God's chosen vessel, do they? The awakening of the sleeping saints, A.D. 
1878 was just halfway, three and one half years each way, between the beginning of the Times of Restitution in 1874 and the close of the High Calling in 1881. Our proposition is that the glorification of the little flock in the spring of 1918 A.D. will be halfway, three and one-half years each way, between the close of the Gentile times and the close of the heavenly way, A.D. 1921. The three days, three years, 1918 to 1921, fruitless search for Elijah, show I mean, Elijah is a confirmation of this view, whatever that means. It just seems so crazy. Types supporting types. Yeah. Yeah. We shall wait to see, but we shall not be indifferent while we wait, lest uh, peradventure another more zealous take the crown we have. Another strange thing. The time is not long. Well, we've heard that before. The time is not long, but if we have to go on for 50 years, why should we care? We are the Lord's. Let him do as he will with his own. Oh, it's very noble of you to want to work another 50 years if the Lord requires it. But the point is, you are, you're, you don't seem to have any accountability for anything you say here. Yeah, they're very casual about their words. They don't care. What what do people do when they when you give them a series of dates like this and you keep saying they're confirmed by this parallel and that? Mm -hmm. What do the nor what does the normal people what does the normal person do? And we know yeah. back from the nineteen sixties what happened when uh, just a few hints were dropped yeah. in the publications about nineteen seventy five. Yeah, millions people of lives were changed, and your credibility goes when it doesn't happen, and people no longer believe you. Yeah. You know, they've heard the wolf cry too many times. Yeah. So we're going to link to a couple of commentaries we've made upon this before. Uh, one is the the Matthew playlist where you have a lot of scary words from Jesus Christ. Uh, I think we should link to the one that's entitled, I can't quite read what Christ I warning sobers two JWs. That's us. That's us. Uh, JWs to give account for countless careless words so that was specifically matthew 12 verses 36 and 37 yeah watch Very the, scary verses there's three scary sayings in that one chapter matthew 12 mm -hmm. and in the jc ryle series matthew for jehovah's witnesses where yeah. we give a, our commentary as much as jc ryle's mm -hmm. uh, we make application of of, of the three sayings that are in that chapter, which are all condemnatory of what we as Jehovah's Witnesses did and are mm -hmm. still doing if we're mm -hmm. still part of that organization. Mm -hmm. So we'll put the Matthew playlist as well as the Careless Words video specifically. Watch the follow-up too, which is on 140 years of Careless Words. Mm -hmm. See you next time. <laughs>